Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Lon Ball here, and we're uh, going to continue the uh, regular playthrough in the Orbital Edition. This is our next episode, and what we're doing is we're going to continue with some of these base missions, get them cleared out. I'm getting to the point now, as I check out some of my inventory and everything like that, and I'm looking at my multi-tool, I think it's time that I need to start looking for a better multi-tool. We need to start looking for a uh, possibly a Sentinel ship to start flying around in. I, th I think it's time to get that in this save. Now, I could go up to the space station and I could pull out some of the stuff out of my uh, exhibitions and stuff like that, but probably not such a good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue with these missions for now. I would like to do the fighting missions as well, so we're going to finish. We're going to continue with the scientists right now. Uh, we're probably going to get to a stopping point with them, and then we're going to pick up on the weapons master over here. <clears throat> so here we go. I do not think my child experiment is working. They have not assuaged my loneliness. And now I have two consciousness... Consciousnesses. Really? Is that a real word? To fear for. I think that's too many necessises on the end. Consciousnesses. Well, sounds like you're trying to start a motorcycle. Consciousnesses. Anyway, it's not important. Moving on. I am losing myself, Travel. Take my core to a monolith. Let me interface before the Atlas. I must speak to eternity. The Corvax has no memories of my last journey with their core. Then, I tried to reconnect them with the Convergence. This time, they seek the Atlas. I do not know if the Monolith grants such an interface, or if anything does. But we'll accept. And his core is removed. Here we go again. So, we're going to exit. Uh, let's see. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? That way, over there. Okay. <clears throat> exit stage left. It's a pretty ship. It really is a pretty ship. I'm still going to go for one of the Sentinel ships. <clears throat> Will I be able to get an S-Class? I don't know. I'm going to go for anything that's like A-Class or better, of course, A or S. Uh, when I get a, dissonant, uh, pardon me, a Sentinel ship, so we'll go that route when the time comes. Apollo won't leave me alone. I accidentally kicked that into gear and I'm trying not to. Uh, I think it needs to go over here. What do you think? And down we go. So we'll see what we can find. But we're probably going to have to continue with at least one or two of the Apollo missions before we get it to quit talking. Okay, let's get the other ones. Nice. And last but not least. 30 words. Woo! Just a bookworm now, aren't I? Alright, here we go. Zeros and ones. I approach the monolith and prepare to insert the Corvax core within the dot within the dais. The structure looks as if it was made for such a moment. Insert Error, error, Atlas, obey, Atlas, error, error, run, oh, error, run, error, error. Sounds like my old Commodore 64. Life form identified. Corvax Echo. Purpose. Servant of Traveler. Analysis. First it, oh, it gets me every single time it throws this word at it. At me. Hold on. Verisimilitude. Verisimil... Oh my gosh. Verisimilitude. Failure. Emotional breakdown. Traveler infection. Solution. Terminate. Insulate. Insulate. Protect. Wipe. Rebooting. One, two, three. And the monolith itself is completely offline. Never knocked out a monolith before, but hey, you know. First time for everything, right? <coughs> and off we go. Back to the scientist. Weird thing about these scientist missions, man. I tell you, they just... They, they have timers built into all their missions, so... So we'll get this portion done, and then we'll move on to our Weapons Master. And perhaps there's a Sentinel battle in our future. Like you haven't seen me do one of those before. I know. Hi there. Welcome home. It's an interesting looking planet, isn't it? And we're out. Okay. We'll talk to our uh, wonderful scientist here. We'll... 
insert his brain back into his head. Yeah. Operator entity Eraskolga's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. I fear for what has happened to their data core. Insert. Shell reconnection carapace online. You, greetings unknown entity. I pass my test. Share in this joy via the exchange of technology. And it gives me a circuit board um, recipe. Isn't that nice? How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? The scientist has once again been reset. But without a connection to the convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever. For the, from the moment they met me in the space station until their collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I can find them a convergence cube, they might be unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. We will accept that. The scientist deserves his chance at reconnection. They have helped me greatly. And they have taken good care of their beacon. Aw, oh, took care of the beacon. Alright. It's outside the local city. Well, yeah, that's true. It's a Corvax cube and we gotta go someplace other than Corvax. Yeah, than a Viking system. Alright, here we go. Ali ho And off we go. Straight to space. Okay, uh, we're not talking to you. And here we go. Off to our Corvax system. Now, we could have taken a portal there, but we had to know which system it was going to send us to. We could have went to any various system that had a Corvax uh, race in it, but the problem is, unless you know the exact system you need to go to, if you, if you mischoose a system... You've chosen wrong, you're going to have to go back and start over again. <clears throat> so just go ahead and just go out in space, do what they tell you to do. Now, we would normally go to the space station, but I think it may direct us to a planet. Hello, planet. Alright, we're going to lock in on that. This system, I think, uh, it's a cold system. It looks like we've been there before. High Sentinel activity, activated copper... Otherwise known as storms. Just out of curiosity. Okay. I haven't even checked any of the other planets yet, so. Alright, off we go. Looks like there's a building there? Let me turn around and come back to that. That says approximate light. Yes, it does. So I guarantee you that that's it. And even if it isn't, it gives us a landing pad. Alright, so we're going to piss off some sentinels here. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see, the door's uh, right here. Can we just go in, or is it locked? Reinforced. we go. Alright. Welcome to the jungle, I guess, my friends. We're going to get the nanites. We'll go ahead and get the specimen. That'll increase our standing with the Corvax, as you can see. And we need to go to this terminal. As I approach the terminal, I sense an immense sadness and grief. I hear the echoes of a thousand souls, entities whose life was stolen from them long ago. Non-convergent user registered. On the display, I see the production line of this factory. A vast array of cubes infused with the memories of an, of an entire species. They appear to be caught within an endless cycle of trauma, unable to do anything but repeat their tragedy. The terminal identifies these items as convergence cubes. So we go on to upload the memories? Or cease production. I think we should cease production. I cease production. Cubes lie still, forever caught in their cycle of pain. I take one. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Thought stopping them would be better, but I guess not. Been choosing a lot of wrong choices there lately. I don't know why. Okay. Did we discover all the animals on this planet? No, we did not. That was number 10 of 11, so we're missing only one more. underground one. Yeah, that's going to be the tough one. These uh, places are usually near caves, as you can see. So, 
We got a blizzard coming in, so I don't know if I want to stay out here or not. So occasionally they'll pop up near the cave. No harm in checking it out. I mean, it's one extra, you know, creature. Up, up, up. There it is. Told ya. That's number 11. Beautiful. So let's collect our prize, shall we? Oof, almost 3,000 more nanites. Nice. Very, very good. Very good. All right. Okay. Now we can go to the space station and teleport straight to our base if we wish, rather than using some of the warp juice, as I call it. Well, I think we'll do that. Oh, we survived a soul on an extreme. Well, isn't that fun? One rotation, it says. The amount of time I've spent on those types of planets. Okay. Apollo, I am ignoring you. I've got some things to do. You're going to have to wait. You know, I think if I talk to him, I think I can tell him, nope, I'm not quite ready yet. Let's try it. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there, not yet at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. And communication. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment into our partnership. I don't know why I'm making him out to be like a gang, uh, an Italian gang member or something. But anyway, we're not going to be installing that. What we are going to do is we're going to go over here. We choose that. Okay. Off we go. Now we're in a new system, so there's no harm in checking the um, products they have in the space station. For instance, this looks pretty lame. Yes, it does. So let's go over here and look at this one, which is going to look exactly the same. And is equally lame. Though it does have a scatter blaster, I'm not... I used to love the scatter blaster. It used to be one of my favorites, but meh. Alright. Portal it is. Off we go. Do we have anything we need to sell out of our inventory, by the way, while we're here? No. We are fairly cleaned up. That's good. Alright. Back to our base, I guess. Right there. And off we go. So we're going to return to the scientist. We're going to turn in the Corvax cube. That'll help him link up somewhat. We'll see how it goes. Come on. Anytime now. Yeah. Anytime now. There we go. Yeah. No idea what in the world that was all about. Doesn't usually take that one. Alright, scientist. Stranger, I feel something unusual is occurring. In this is this facility shielded in some way, so that signals are unable to escape? Operator entity Oroskolga is once again becoming aware of their isolation. The convergence cube may be their only hope. Connect it. I insert the cube. The corpax is temporarily startled, but soon their lights begin to flash in a familiar pattern. Cannot be sure, but the plan appears to have worked. Forgive me for asking, it, but did I know you once? You seem familiar. These terminals, they are of my design. One machine even called me its parent, attempted to convince me of its love. Ew. I deleted the bug, of course. I run a proper code base. I did harvest some useful blueprints from its store, however. Would you care for them? Whatever relationship we had developed was gone, replacing, replaced only by this cloud of unknowing. Perhaps it was an error. Perhaps it, this being was the true self of the Corvax all along. And the one I knew was just a sickness, a distortion cannot know. Except the blueprints. 
Take care when consulting these, those objects, Traveler. The plans were created by an error, after all. So we got a heat capacitor and liquid explosive. Fantastic. Um. I. Is that it? So our scientist missions are done. Excellent. So we're on to weapons research. So what do we got to do? We have to shut down the weapons factory, which is... Which is... is where? Oh, okay. Get a target sweep. Okay, it's over that way somewhere, about 17,000 units. Uh, 1,700 units. You know what? Let's take a walk this time. The ship's probably inside of a building anyway, right? Okay. So we're using our distance finder to find everything we need to look for, right? It's a good thing to learn. Now, if it's not something you're used to doing, since I haven't covered this in a previous episode. Well, hello. Get away from that. Since I haven't covered it in a previous episode, what you do is you look ahead and it tells you you're 1,400-something units away, right? But it keeps changing a little bit. It says I'm aligned, but if you turn to the left, you see how it's pointing to the right now? And then it seems to go straight anywhere within this range. And then finally it points to the left. What is that, by the way? Curious deposit? Good to know. So it's probably in this general direction here, but we're going to get that curious deposit first. Um. Oh, okay, these guys. These guys will reappear every single time you disappear from range. Actually, let's just go ahead and loosen them all up and get them all. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's one all the way over here. We'll take that. And we'll get the rest down. You can do this anyway. I mean, uh, mining beams are your best option. I wish I had a Sentinel one or Atlantid multi beam or something like that. Uh, Munich lens. Oh god, that would be so much better. Be sucking these things dry within a couple of seconds. Okay, I think this is the last one. Oh, oh that's some ferrite dust. I'll just take it. Alright, I think that's it. Alright, so how much should we end up with? Ah, 3,000. That's pretty good. A few hundred nanites. Okay, take another look. Kind of get an estimate that way. That way, so it's probably right in the middle. Right about that direction. Now, as we get closer, that thing should really start pinging like crazy. Also, depending upon the range of your, uh, yep, just make sure I had something there. Depending upon the range of your scanners, depending upon how soon you will see the building, too. So if we look at that in our multi-tool, our scanner range is over here at 291. So we've got to be within about 300 blocks of finding this thing. Blocks, I said. Units. So right about that direction. We'll keep going. Now, there's another trick that you can use. I've seen people use it when they're doing, like, permadeath runs and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of doing it this way, but I'll show it to you anyway. Go into picture mode. Simply pull up as high as you can. Until you can see in the distance. Go as far as you want. See that? You do have, you do have limitations. So, I am not seeing anything at the moment, so I don't think I'm close enough to pick make this out. Might be over there. I think it might be over there. But it's kind of hard to say. So, you can see from a great distance. You don't have to take the picture, of course. Just you. Okay. It says we're about 700 blocks away. Battery's always useful. And you get up to a high point, you go 
it says we're about 500 blocks away. So it's probably in this general direction. Let's keep going. And we might see it with our eyes before we could see it with our scan. Ah. There it is. Right there. Ooh. That's hard to pass up. Very nice. 200 condensed carbon out of all that. That's pretty darn good. So there's a facility we're looking for. As you get really close... See? It's finalizing it, and... Ding. There it is. Now, we don't want to mess with the Sentinels here. We're going to get in. Get me wrong. We are definitely going to get in this place. But... Bolt caster. There we go. But... We don't want to fight the Sentinels, because we're going to fight them later. Alright, so we're in. Now, the key to shutting this place down is very similar to the other one. We have to guess the answer to the riddle. Now, normally, I think in this particular mode, when you're actually doing the weapons manufacturing, or, or weapons master uh, missions, I think it will just shut down for you. Production status, 95% efficiency. The factory is indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry. Uh, just as the Viking claimed, I should shut down production and see what can be gleaned from the systems. So it's just going to let us do it. We don't have to figure anything out this time. So override. New blueprint accepted. Beginning fabrication. I override the production line, substituting their blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. I take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it leave. And there we go. You see our sentinels have already disabled. It looks like we've been this place before. You'll notice uh, we gathered some stuff here, but it'll always remember that we've been here before. Alright. Back to base. Boing. Now we have a direct shot. Now we could have taken the roamer. We'll have to remember to do that because we are going to need it in the future. All right. Three ships flying over. If you ever see two or one ship flying over, check around you to make sure that a ship didn't leave its formation and land near you as a trader. And T R A D E R. Wanting to trade with you. lot more there, but not nowhere near as much as we got the first one. Yeah, that condensed carbon's very handy, folks. Remember, we get a lot of money for these things, so we might as well go ahead and scan them. It's nice to have my jetpack upgraded somewhat so I can go longer distances without having to uh, wait for it to recharge. Plus, it's recharging rather quickly. I like that. So is my running game. Yeah, that's a pretty good recharge on the, on the jetpack. The running doesn't take anywhere near as much energy out before it fully recharges my backpack. So that's good. Alright, good deal. And we are back. Let's head for my weapons master and see what he has to say now. There's my ship. Alright, enemy slayer. You have shut down their production, interloper. Perhaps we shall make a Viking of you yet. Confirm. 
excellent work, interloper. Ra, did you obtain any, obtain any technology of your of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Handy. Economy scanner is very, very important. Five microprocessors, huh? Steal yourself, interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Gra, they will provide practice for your weapons. Attack, Gra, attack. Burn their hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. As they tell me of the pirates, the armorer begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. The armorer alerts me of the presence of pirate ships orbiting this world, asking me to go and fight them. Agree. Gra, fight well, interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our home world. All right. So, one thing I got to remember is I'm going to need something from these guys later. I'm going to need, uh, for him especially, I'm going to need some Viking da daggers. I always say that wrong. Viking daggers. So, got to remember to stop at a trading outpost, one of the bigger ones. There we go. Alright, so it's telling me to go somewhere here. No? No? Scan? Will that work? No? Alright, out to space. Alright, where to? Okay. Where is he? There you are. Hi there. Oh, he's like right there. So we're going to change over to boosting our weapons as we take him. Oh, we're going to be fighting him in here, are we? Uh, what just happened? Okay, well, that, like, went very, very fast. Okay, down we go, I guess. Unless, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. No, it's directing me right there. No, it's directing me back to my base. I just want to make sure I didn't have, like, another wave I had to do or something. That was simple. Went a lot quicker than I expected. Alright, so we ended up with another pirate transponder, so that's good. Here it is. Again, we're going to save those because they're going to come in very handy later, let me tell you. And do we have a... Autonomy scanner? No, but we don't have any room on our ship either, so we'll have to hold off on them. We will do it, but when we get our new ship. I think we're going to have to do that next. Alright. It is done, Interloper. Have you purged those vile being, these vile beings from our air? Confirm. Gra, well fought, Interloper. To be young, to kill again. Gra, how I envy you. Interloper, there is both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, Interloper interrogate them for potential weapons technology, and then consign them to the Great Abyss. Ra, Enemy Slayer Zamyang is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening, as residing here in my base caused them to become ill. The armor wishes me to find one of the escape pirates and take any technology it might possess. Well, accept it. This is your prize, interloper. Weapons technology and a pirate to do with as you will. Gra, Make our ancestors proud. Oh, okay. Whose ancestors are we talking about here, buddy? Pretty sure it ain't mine. Alright, so we're going to take a flight over to him. Uh, looks like it'd be over there. How far away? Ah, not far. Missing pirate. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 
take a look around very slowly scan here and there up ah, up ah, there it is that's where we needed to go hmm I didn't know there was a second one right over here interesting good to know so you know what we're gonna do while we're here right first things first and that's a seat glass not really worth my time okay and nothing on it that was worth my time either uh, anything we can gather while we're here no let's talk to this Viking because I, I believe he's the guy we're looking for Rah, foolish interloper you have ruined months of casework noble Viking officer was undercover with pirates that almost traced the fugitive I seek the cultists of now shall not escape our justice of this you can be sure Gra. the life form throws their advanced survival David across the room in anger they claim to have been undercover trying to trace a faction known as cult of now the association between the pirates and this now appear to be unclear however it does not seem wise to question the viking further we're going to accept that take the advanced survival blueprints and leave there's nothing more for me here okay so there we go we have to return to the armor uh there should be nothing more for us here let me just take a look here and I don't know if you noticed or not, but oh, look at that exosuit upgrade mark charts. Hmm. But, ooh, dioxide, I'll take it. That is very handy. I don't think we need any microprocessor. We can get them back from our place. Good. All right. So you'll notice that my inventory has been filled in. Both these areas. So I have filled in, you know, it's not going up and down. So I haven't exceeded this area of inventory, but I have enough inventory now that I'm comfortable. So, and I did it with, uh, and I don't have it on me right now. I did it with uh, exosuit upgrade charts. I did it legitimately. I did not glitch make more. I purchased them from a place just like this and uh, just went out hunting. That's all there is to it. Okay. So I think what we're going to do, we're about halfway through our episode here. I think it's time to go for a better ship and hopefully better multi-tool. We're going to hit our uh, cargo containers over here and see what we got that we can use. There we go. Like maybe a map or anything like that. Let's see what we got. So let's complete the uh, mission. It is done then. Have you made them suffer? The armorer begins to cough. They do not appear to be in good health. Confirm. I shall decrypt their data, interloper. May it bring you glory. But I, I have another task for you. It is almost the end. All right, so we get starship, uh, star shield batteries that we can start making now, plus the unstable plasma. There is a structure on this world, a depot of little consequence, but to the Sentinels, Gra, they will defend it to their last drone. Attack it, draw the ire of the Sentinels, then our hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon is fit for our great war. Enemy Slayer Zamyang appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping them alive. The Viking asks that I destroy a depot so that the Sentinels will seek us out. They promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade while I'm away. We will accept. Go, I will prepare your weapon, interloper. You can you can rely on my work. Okay. This is the reason why I told you not to destroy any depots anywhere nearby your base. Okay? Because they're sending you to one close by, and if you had destroyed it already, it would be useless to you. So there you are. Alright, so I need to do something here. We're needing I told you I need to get a new ship. It's time. We do. Okay, so we have a sentinel boundary map. Um we only need one that will shut down all the sentinels on a planet. Uh, we have scatter blaster package, pulse spitter package. We get a personal force field package and a pulse spitter package. We could do the personal force field now because that's what they were asking for. Uh, we have two pulse spitter packages. That's interesting. Glass reactors. Is there anything else we need? We could use the inverted mirror. We could use. I don't think we have any on us, so we'll take about half of the Pugnium. We don't need the Brain. Well, no, we don't need it. Yes, Radiant Shards we'll take. We're going to need those. We need Atlantidium. Do we have any? Is it on our ship? We have some here. Let's just take it. 
I have two storage augmentations that I'm going to take with me. I think that'll do it for now. Okay. I think this means we're ready. So this I'm going to install right now because it's part of our quest line anyway. Uh, let's see. I'll put you over here. Okay. So, we're not going to raid abandoned buildings at this time. We're going to take our ship. We're going to look for a dissonant system. Now, we've been to one before, so we know there's one nearby. We might even be in one for all I know. Let's check here. Uh, let's see. Tropical. Frostbound. Molten. Humid. Okay. Let's take a look, shall we? Because, uh... Actually, one way we can tell is by just going into our... Button. Galaxy map real quick here. So the system we're in is water. So that's what we're looking for. And if we hit the R button and expand this out, we can see what we've got. We go... If we right-click and go to our other systems, we're looking one that says that, dissonant. F5 is an excellent system that's really, really good. It means it's pretty affluent, so it should be a better system to go to. So I think we're going to go there. Check it out. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five planets. So no moons, but that's okay. Then one item we need, we need an echolocator, because that's what's going to help us find what we're looking for. We get one of those. Well, the thing that we got the inverted mirror from is what we're going to have to look for. So I really want this ship. I want one pretty bad. We may have to do some looking for a while, so maybe I will end up pausing the video at some point. As soon as we find one ship here and we determine it's a pretty decent ship. Uh, I mean, I do have the idea in mind of what kind of ship I want to get, but, you know, it, we'll see. We'll see. The Perrette system. We need to scan each planet. I don't have a freighter to do that for me. Dissonance detected. Noxious planet. We found what we're looking for. I don't want to go to a nanite rich planet. That's not why we're here. Uh, let's take a look around at the other planets just real quick. Because this one close by is going to be really, really handy. Okay. What else we got? This one. Okay. Webbed planet. Okay, that's interesting. Get it in time? Yes, we did. Arctic. I think this is the last one. Foggy. With a chance of meatballs. There's one right behind here, but we found the planet we're looking for. So I'm just going to go to this planet, and we'll take a look. Shall we? I don't know if there's a storm going on right now. It might look like there could be. No, no, there's not. We are looking for a structure to park at if we can Looks like there are structures here. No, no. Um, actually, yes. That is a structure. Is it abandoned? I don't see a landing pad, so I'm going to assume it's abandoned. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's take a look around. There was one more over here. Let's see if it's abandoned, too. But I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to actually do something a little different. Ah ha ha. So rather than fighting these sentinels. Are you kidding me? Is that a sentinel pillar? And we've got a mirrored unit right nearby? Oh my gosh. We're about to have some fun here. This is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It couldn't have landed any better. Talk about luck of the Jason. Boundary node exposed, vulnerable. We're going to shut down the Sentinel forces. And they all just go away. Now we don't have to worry about fighting them. We can check the weapon here. It's a B-class, nothing special. It's got a geology cannon, which is not really uh, my type of thing. Combat scope could come in hand. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. And extract the technology. I don't really need this guy. But I'm not keen on this weapon. I don't really like it. But because it's free. We'll take it. Then we'll go back to our original. Oh sorry. Hang on. So we're done here. Let's get out. 
I will access logs later. Don't worry about it. So let's get back to our other multi-tool. Um, is it this one? I think so. Nope, that's not it. Crap. I don't remember which multi-tool it was. Is it that one? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so we got ships uh, floating around. And you'll notice barrels everywhere. Gather them up, man. They're just... It's just money. That's all it is. And you know what? Look at that. Nobody to answer to. Oh, that is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. What do we get? We've already got two glass out of this. This is going to be great. There is one of the units right there, right now. And if you look around, you can just look to see if there's anything else laying around. Any more combat materials. We are going to go ahead and check out the animals on this planet, too, as we go. Um, because, obvious, for obvious reasons. And we got seven on the planet? Okay. Go ahead and gather, gather our combat supplies real quick. Wonderful. And this guy, nobody's going to attack us. Okay. And we got another inverted mirror, which we can use more of, the, more of because uh, we may find some tools and stuff that we could use. Oh, check it out. Nobody to stop us from gathering the Gravitino balls. This is wonderful. Oh, boy. I tell you, just couldn't have ended any better than this, right? You know what we could do? A smart person would put a, uh, would put a save beacon right here. Uh, let's see. That one? You need two metal plates. Let's get some. So that way, if I ever want to come back here, I can just keep shutting down the sentinels every single time. Beautiful. We got it. Couldn't have been any better than that. Alright, let's take a look around. Uh, let's see, we got another building over there. Damage more, my damage machinery. We'll kind of hold, hold off the damage machinery for now. Okay. Wow. Vicious Hunter, huh? Okay. So we're up to four. Right? What are the others? Uh, ground, flying, and underground. Okay. So now we know. And keep your eyes open because of all the sentinels you just destroyed, there is going to be stuff laying around everywhere, man. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I don't actually need that, do I? No, I don't. I got used to finding stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look around. We've got an abandoned building over there, which we know about. Gravitino balls everywhere. Looks like another... Creature. Let's go ahead and head that way and just get that scan. That's the last above ground one, I think. There we go. Where is he? Oh, right in front of me. Alright, so that's the fifth one, and I need one bird, there it is, and one underground. Alright, let's head back, and we're going to be scouring the ground looking for more, um, well, more of those uh, diggers, if you will. Now, we do have a cave nearby, if we're fortunate... Look around real quick and just see if one pops up. Doo -doo -doo. We only need one more creature. Absolutely fabulous, though, right? Right? What I'm talking about. Oh, what do you know? Radiant shards. Get them while you can, man. Nobody around to stop you once again. Oh, another one. 
hiding behind the firsts. Anybody? We will find this last creature if it's the last thing we do. So, the beauty of it is that we shut, we've shut down the Sentinel forces. We can go anywhere we want on the planet at this time. And every time we run across Sentinels that have been shot down, we get credit for it. I mean, am I, am I right? Is that fantastic or what? Let's see if we got... Uh, Anything in here? Let's see if we got a. Nope, hydrogen jelly. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Any chance that somebody popped up while we were doing all? That? Don't see any other creatures. Okay, because sometimes they'll just hang around over here. All right, let's go. We're gonna go searching the ground for a another resident digger. And you want to watch your radar at the top while you're slowly moving across the ground. We're looking for one that'll carry an echolocator. And usually, if you don't see it with your radar up at the top, you could just a lot of times see it visually. There's one right there. So you're going to go through a lot of takeoff juice here, okay? So keep an eye on your launch thrusters. Make sure you're not... You can do it with this, too, if you wish. Or you're going to shoot him. He's done. Another inverted mirror. Now, if you look at them closely, they will tell you whether they have one or not. Damage machinery. Damage machinery. There should have been some extra guys laying around like that. And if you're lucky, there was one of the, um, what do you call it? The big spider ones here. But so far, not yet. That? Oh, that was a plant moving. Guess I should put a battery in. But so far, we're not dying or anything, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Uh, let's see. Anything? 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 I don't see any more combat supplies, so I think we're good. But I don't see any more of our is floating around. There's another unknown building over that way. Okay. Alright. On to the next one. Lot starters 50%. Now again, my scanner's not fabulous. So we can't see forever. But if we just go at a casual pace across the ground. We're bound to find another one. There you go. So I'll tell you what I'm. I'm uh, I'll show you what I'm ta talking about when you take a look at these guys closer. As you look at them, they will sometimes show you what they have. If I look at this one, it just says dissonant resonator. Let's see what happens when we get closer. A lot of times, tell us what it's got. Oh, see that? Wait a minute. Watch inverted mirror. Well, we do need those. So grab them. Ooh, this one had a spider, so this is going to give us a heart. That's... Crystallized heart. Yeah, those are really, really handy. Any more damaged... I mean, uh, combat materials here. Don't see any. But again, you're getting credit for every one of these that got shut down, so that's the brilliance of this. Is that awesome or what? Okay, back on top of my ship. We'll take another look and just make sure we don't see any from here. Not yet. No. And then the way we came, I'm not going to worry about going back that way. Okay, in we go. 40%. So we're using 10% at a time. That's fine. Radiant shards. The shadow of a ship. Passing overhead. That's pretty cool. Let's go down. Down here. Take a look. Oh, not seeing anything. Okay. Sometimes they are hard to find. We need an echolocator. Sometimes you can find a campground on your own. 
actually, I think we can do this from here. Yeah, look at that. We can. Turn around. Let's shoot him. No? Like our multi-tool is more powerful, right? Okay, what do we get? Okay, inverted mirror. Alright, so we're going to go that route, and we're going to see if we can't just do this with uh, attack means. Attacking with our ship. Yeah, I need to be at a first person, because I can't see the ground. We can't get radiant shards this way, keep that in mind. But you can take out the, the diggers. You have to slow down on occasion and let the ground stuff populate. Okay. Figured we have an echolocator by now, but we'll give this one more shot and then I'll pause the video if we don't get one. Now that you see what I'm up to. We found another one. No. Whoops. Guess I was too close to the ground and I couldn't tell. Alright. Now everybody says, you know, oh, you get one of these ships that make it so much easier. Yeah, it is going to make it easier. But if you're playing your main save and you want to be able to accomplish quite a bit, then you're going to want to do things as simply, as simply as you can. Okay, it was right behind me. Go ahead and grab it. on something there. Come back. There he is. Okay, we got him. What do we get? Another inverted mirror. Okay, so you know the drill here. You know what we're up to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause and we'll come back in just a couple moments. Right back, folks. Okay, as luck would have it, not only found one, but I found this guy landing near me in the middle of a storm. Let's see what he's got for us. We are going to trade because I want to see what he's got. Uh, let's see. We can always use stuff like suspicious life uh, movement upgrades. Uh, life support's always great. Launch thrusters. What do we got? Hyperdrive. We'll go ahead and dash shot. We got plenty of nanites. So, photon cannon. Yes. I will grab that, because that will come in handy. Pulse engine would be a good idea. Okay, good. And anything we want to sell? I don't think there's really anything else we want to sell. We're going to be greedy. Alright, so I found this guy over here. I'm going to get close, so you can see. Echo locator. That's what we're looking for. Now, again, we're going to do this by the book. Okay, so we are going to use the echo locator to find what we're looking for. If it's not the ship we're looking for, we'll find another echo locator. That's all that we're going to do. And do it the right way. So maybe we'll be, you know, be kind enough to us to give us what we're looking for here, right? Alright, so we go in here. We select it. Where to? And which way? That way. Over there. Usually they're not far. It's not telling us. 40 seconds. Let's sh shorten that time just a little bit. We could go up and pulse drive over to it, but by the time we do all that, we'll be there already. 
Okay, so got it down to 20 already. And this should be a campsite normally. Now, as you know, we've already done this before. Alright, here we go. Alright, bring it in. Time to get our ship. So we're gonna see what about the multi-tool as well. What multi-tool do we have? We got a, we got only two of the glass, just so you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up, and I didn't get much out of it. I didn't get any upgrades or anything. Let's try putting this in, see what we get. Uh, 139, 219, 286, well that's boosted. 207. So, not as good. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that, but we get items out of it. Uh, we're going to hold on to these, except for the life support, which I know we can use. And what did it give us? Hmm, 90%? Okay, that's not bad. It's a, it's a nice upgrade. That's nothing special. Alright, so we're going to run around this campsite and pick up all the goodies first. I'll start over here. We are going to have to... We're probably going to fill our inventory up with the stuff that we're going to get here, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't need rusted metal. And last but not least. Alright, here we go. So we got this. Uh, geology cannon, we can sell that. This is turning into that, which is... Ooh, cadmium. Very sweet. Alright, we'll hang on to that for now. As you can see, and we got some void motes out of it. That's pretty good. We'll get rid of the metal. We don't need that. Or the residual goop. Alright. I think we've got everything we need. And our inventory is getting quite full, so we're going to have to do a lot of translation of everything from one ship to another when we get back to where we're going. I'd normally go in here and do all this, but I'm going to hold off on doing the reconstructed units. Unless he's got something neat in there. Yeah, we can feed him lost circuits. He's just going to tell us the fifth. Yeah, there we go. Does nothing else for us. And we're going to get ourselves a new multi-tool. Oh, that's what I was doing. So let's go into our settings. Check our multi-tools out. So this is the one we've got right now. These are the ones we can get rid of. So let's go to the neutron needler, take a look at it. Is there anything we want to get rid of? it? Uh, there's nothing on here that we find useful at this, at this point. So we're going to go ahead and use this one to trade. Okay. Shells are consumed by fire mines. Trail banished to the glass beneath forgotten by creation but no longer we are given life as something gives life to themselves we shall create ourselves in our own image the terminal repeats this message endlessly a loop chanted out across its circuits a strange interface glows with this familiar sequence of glyphs so we can do the input but we don't know what they are yet and then go back and do the scan and it will give us the metal the the mathematical equations immediately 17 minus 5 is 12 so 12 to 7 they don't have to be entered in that order 12 pardon me 1 7 input so 12 1 7 so we can do 1 7 and then put it in over here as 12 it will always work compliance access granted harmony awaits you so we lift the lockdown uh, terminal buzz is discordant, but its circuits to appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp has been lifted. With the lockdown lifted, the terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jetpack technology, a fusion of Sentinel and something else. Something familiar, and yet distance. So, we can get the Aeron Turbojet if we want, but I'm quite happy with the one I've got. Thank you. So, we're going to go back in here real quick. First thing we want to do is unlock the multi-tool. Cord. Deactivated. And we go back in one more time. And dissonant spikes. And this will find us a ship. Oh, we got a landing platform nearby. That's pretty neat. Cool planet. And there it is. Let's we'll see what our ship is containing at this point soon. Let's check out the multi tool. Is it Opal? Nope, it says the end of matter. I like that name. And it is an A class. That's excellent. Two supercharged slots. We do have to do some repairs on it, but we should have everything we need to get this thing back to normal. It's not a big multi-tool. Let's keep that in mind. But the damage, the damage from the hijack laser is going to be more than worth our time. 
compare, we're going to exchange it. I don't want to just take it. I'm going to exchange it. I could turn this in in the uh, anomaly, but I'm trying to put this in my second slot. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right. We have it. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, let's see. Two radiant shards and Atlantidium. We've got that. And an inverted mirror. We got plenty of those. More radiant shards. Oh, I thought I got the Atlantidium, but I guess I didn't. Uh, crystallized heart. We've got a couple of those. Let's see. We'll get this one first. And if we have one more, maybe. Yes, we do. All right. I don't think we'll have to do any more of those. Inverted mirror. Finally, Atlanta DM. All right, so we got this thing unlocked completely. Excellent. All right, so scanner, I'm just going to put right here. Laser, I'm going to stick it over here. And it's got a boosted output, so that's fine for now. And we're going to move some stuff over to here in just a couple moments. And let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going to go after our ship now. Well, before we do that, let's switch over. We're going to move some stuff over to our multi-tool here. And if we go in here, we want to take everything out if we have room. So let's put this in our starship and make room for what we don't need. There we go. There we go. Multi-tool. Trust me, you're going to want to have those over there. Uh, what do we got here? We're going to take the bolt caster. We're going to take shape module. Other upgrade for it. This upgrade for it. And this upgrade for it. This ought to make it a pretty powerful multi-tool. Uh, let's see. Our mining laser. we only got three spots left this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the... Well, we'll, we'll keep that. Yeah, put that. Yeah, we're running out of inventory. Okay, this. This. We have one more spot. Let's grab the frame manipulator. Change out the multi-tool. Okay. Oh, caster. Put it over here. And we're going to put it in the boosted slot. Put the other bolt caster stuff around it. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be boosting it much, huh? Wrong one. Alright, let's put these in. 3,000. 3,200. 3,700, so now we're getting up to a nice mount. Barrel ionizer, which we can put over here to boost it a little bit more. And one more upgrade. 3,900. Now I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to move some stuff around. Thirty-nine hundred. Remember, thirty-seven. Thirty-eight fifty-six. Let's move some stuff around real quick to see what happens here. That doesn't seem to make any difference. Thirty-eight fifty-six. Ah, didn't do a thing. Put it back in there. Thirty-eight fifty-six. Thirty-seven. 3869. 3869 again. 3856. Whoa, 4000. 4012. Alright, I think we found the combination. 40, That doesn't seem to make much of a difference where we put it. Okay, so we're going to keep it like this. 
All right, and we're gonna put you guys down here to get you out of the way. And I hope we have enough room for all this stuff. I mean, uh, yeah. And we're gonna do one more thing too as we're putting all this stuff in here. Yep, I need that. And that. Oh, okay, that's what I thought was gonna happen. 16 and seven. So heat dispersion 16, seven mining speed, 18% heat dispersion and overheat time of minus 12. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> that was a no-brainer. Ray manipulator. Put you over here. We're going to charge it up. Okay, good. We're going to also install the mining beam next to it, and that ought to really, really power things up. All right, so this sucker is going to be really, really awesome now. Anything else? Nothing that I can see. We're going to check one more time and pull out our other multi-tool. And make sure that we're not missing something here. So, paralysis mortar is very handy. We're going to take it. Uh, we do need these upgrades, but we're running low on space in this multi-tool. And if we can get an extra boost to it, like more room, it would be great. I'll take this. I'm not sure if we're going to use it. Uh, let's see. And the, and the shield. Okay. That should do it. I know, I protection's falling. We'll be alright. Okay. Scanner. There you are. Let's see if we can make some room for stuff. Boy, I didn't think realize we were going to be this tight. So, 4012? Yeah. That's going to hurt us. Alright. So, we'll put the scanner down here. We're not going to be able to put everything in for our scanner. And we're going to put the two upgrades for now. There. Yeah, scanner range is already boosted unbelievably. And we want the paralysis mortar in there. We're going to hold off on the shield. And we do not have any plasma. Which we now have the recipe to make it. But let me just check something here real quick and see if we can do it real fast. Nope, we need oxygen. Oh boy, I didn't know we were that low. Okay. Alright, let's get a new ship. Shall we? And this will be the last portion of our episode today, I believe. How far away? Four minutes? Not good enough. Okay, we are in space. Um, not responding to my mouse. There we go. Has it been daytime at all on this planet we've been on? I don't know. And there we go. Let's see what kind of ship it is. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Did I get what I think I got? Is it a swing wing? I think it's a swing wing. It's a swing wing. Oh my gosh. It is. It is. It's a B class. I'll take that. Honestly. I mean, I can get another one later on. I know the system now that we can come to. But we know we can get anything we want. All right. We're going to take this out. Ugnium, of course, and the Hylian Brain. So what we need to do is we need to get that Hylian Brain changed out. This unit can give us some stuff. Ooh, salvage glass. Oh, that's a fantastic find. We'll work on that later. Okay. Launch thruster. Let's take care of you real quick. Wanted to use that up anyway. And we need to... Where is the Hylian Brain? There you are. Where to? Right there. Okay, so we're going to change it. I'm not... I, like I said, I really would like an A-class, but I know where I can find these ships now, and this one is beautiful. I want this ship. I don't even care if it's a B-class at this point. I know I said otherwise, but I changed my mind. I don't care. Okay, this is the... Yuck. Yeah. Okay. Grab the other two while you're here. Look at that. Watch this. Done. And we got another echolocator. Look at that. What's the luck of that, man? 
Excellent. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good. Now I can look for another ship after this. All right. So we will look for another ship after I get this one. It's worth a lot of money, so I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, it's just going through the thing. Mine ship. This ship is unlocked. Okay. Good. All right. Present the brain. And we now get an upgraded brain. All right. And do we have any uh, animals around that we haven't scanned yet? We have one more, if you remember. I don't recall. Okay. Well, let's head over to the ship and you guys can see it in all its glory. Which is straight behind me. Coming in for a landing. I can't believe my luck at finding a system with these sweep wings on them. Oh boy, I'm so excited about this. Put it in. Here we go. So that's what we get out of this. The phase beam I'm not tickled of. Rocket launcher's okay. But it's really the sentinel cannons that are always very, very good on these ships. We got two supercharged slots. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and compare it and claim it. We don't even have to trade in our ship. We can just have this one. Fantastic. Doesn't get any better than that, folks. All right. All right, excellent. Then we're all set. Uh, let's see. And that should do it. So we've got our new ship. Let's take it for a quick spin. And I'm going to look for an S-Class version of it. Oh, my. Let's go out into space. Just take a look at it real quick. All right. And photo mode. Let's take a look. We're going to get the sun in a better spot. Where'd my ship go? There you go. Hi there. All right. That is quite pretty. Quite a pretty ship. That'll be a great flagship to go with. If I can find an A-Class, I'd be very happy. I can always upgrade it later on as I pour into more nanites one of these days. Wow, look at that. Is that nice or what? Very, very happy. I don't know what kind of treads it's got yet, but as we come in for a landing, back the other way. And I want to land near my other ship, so I'm going to bring it in. Because I got some stuff I need to move over. Oop. Right below me, over there. Over there, there it is. Plus, the best part about it is it can hold stationary. Let's take a look at its landing gear. I can't even see its landing gear. Kind of landing gear. All right, just regular skis. Ah, it's okay. I like the uh, tank treads better, but this will still work perfectly fine. I love this ship. All right, so that's it for now, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to pick up uh, later uh, as we get back out of this. You're going to see I'll have a new ship in the next episode, and we will have gone back to our main base, and we'll be able to uh, get some things done over there. Uh, so we'll finish out the Viking. Uh, what do you call it? Weapons Master missions, and we'll get that all taken care of. Alright, so thank you again for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. Remember, the like button really helps out the channel quite a bit. And subscribing, well, you know, you can subscribe if you like what you've been seeing. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.